why is it that the lawyer is saying that you know there are just circumstantial evidence and 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 i would just like to in fact get your focus on that because after punawala has admitted reportedly to the police that he killed shraddha on may 18 chopped her body into several pieces and threw it away on the face of it this looks like a simple open and shut case because the accused has admitted to the crime but is it really no primary witness to the murder only circumstantial evidence and also 6 months have gone by since the alleged murder took place delhi police is relying mostly on the forensic science to build up a watertight case what are the challenges as far as the delhi police is concerned despite aftab's reported uh, in fact uh, confession uh, in front of the court now just take a look at this in fact the confession of killing shraddha is in remand hearing it is not yet in the trial stage so it will uh it is not before a magistrate under section 164 which is in fact taken as an evidence so at this moment whatever he says in the court he can tomorrow deny that and that won't be considered as evidence aftab might contradict before the magistrate which will then in fact become the evidence if he contradicts later in the trial stage murder is 6 months old no primary witness only circumstantial evidence so far police relying mostly on the forensic uh, examinations will be a week before the dna test confirm the identity of the body parts which have been recovered no real murder weapon has been found by the police so far uh, as aftab says that he strangulated her so there is no murder weapon as such uh, dna will have to be picked up from the tools which have been used for chopping the body that is also after the uh, the police is able to recover the saw and other things which reportedly have been used to chop off the body the police has to prove the shadda is not alive after may 18th police has to substantiate after a statement uh, about frequent night trips polygraph and narco test ladies and gentlemen are not of evidentiary value if they do not uh, come to if they do not present any uh, substantial evidence Uh, you know related or leading from the narco or polygraph test so it's not going to be an easy task despite despite the massive anger that all of us face with the details that are coming up as far as this case is concerned